All right, so yesterday we did area model with partial products. Today, we're gonna do partial products without the area model, okay? So the point of partial products is for you to understand that you can take a number, a larger number, two digits or more, and you can break it down using putting by putting the number in expanded form and then just multiplying each of those numbers by the number here. So they're calling it partial products because you're breaking it into parts, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna solve some problems pretty much the same way we've been doing, except for we're just not gonna draw the area model this time. So I want to start out with the problem. Let's do four times 22, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to break this into partial products. I have 20 and I have two. So I'm gonna go ahead and write it like this. I have 20 times four plus two times four. I still have 22 groups, 22, 22 times four. I'm writing it like this so that I know, so that I can just keep it as one simple equation. 20 times four plus two times four. Okay, so I'm gonna solve my 20 times four first. Two times four gives me eight, and I'm gonna tack on one zero plus two times four, which is eight. Then I'm gonna add those two together, and I'm gonna get 88, okay? So I did the same thing as I did before, I just didn't draw an area model. That's the only thing that's different, okay? So let's go ahead and look at another one. Let's go ahead and look at 26 times three. Go ahead and give that one a go using partial products only. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna break this 26 into 20 and six. And then I'm gonna have 20 times three in parentheses, because I'm gonna solve that first, plus three, oh, six times three. I still have 26 groups. So two times three gives me six, tack on a zero, plus six times three, which gives me 18. I'm gonna go ahead and stack this just to make sure I get it right. Stack eight, seven, 78, okay? It's really not much different than what you were doing before. All right, let's do one more. So let's go ahead and raise the difficulty just a little bit. Let's do 43 times five, okay? Go ahead and give that one a go. All right, I'm splitting it into 40 and three. It's a partial product, 40 times five plus three times five, okay? Four times five gives me 20. Tack on a zero plus three times five gives me 15, gives me 215. All right, let's look at one word problem and then we'll go ahead and you guys can go ahead and do your own practicing. So the word problem I want to look at is this one. All right, here's what it says. There are three shelves. Each shelf has 21 books. How many books are there in all? Okay, sorry, it's a little crammed on the end. All right, so there's three shelves and there's 21 each, so three times 21, okay? Gonna go ahead and do partial products, 21, three times 20 plus three times one. 
still have 21 groups, still multiplying by 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Tack on a 0 gives me 60, plus 3 times 1 is 3, equals 63. So we could say there are 63 bucks. Done.